36th Straight Road in Mount Holly. This three bedroom, two bath home is listed at $269.9. Uh, join me on the inside. One of the coolest things about this property is this giant mudroom. Plenty of room to store your skis. Have a little dart game, even. There's a dart board in here. And lots and lots of hooks for your friend's gear. So coming in from the mudroom, you'll see that they've really done a nice job renovating this uh, section of the house. It was built back in the 70s. Yeah, actually, no, 1984. It was originally built, but they've been renovating this house now for about 10 years. And it has a really nice kitchen, a tile floor, cute little island, nice lighting. They also did some nice upgrades on the ceiling with tongue and groove pine kind of matches the floors. I do believe these are original, but uh, really charming. So uh, the dining area is all in this open space with the living room and the wood stove uh, keeps this place really warm. You've got two doors leading outside. Uh, one leading out to the hot tub is a French door, and the other one goes directly onto a little porch with uh, into the backyard. Yes, it's almost May 1st, and that is snow coming down. But if you want to be in snow country, which is where we are, this is definitely the place to be. So rounding out the main level of the house, this is the door to the basement it's really a steep staircase. We're not going to go down there today. Um, but you've got laundry, a three-quarter bath, and then a space that a lot of people use as a bedroom. Um, you're going to see physically four bedrooms in this house. And we're selling it as a three bedroom because that's what it was originally built as, a three bedroom house. So the balance of the bedrooms are upstairs. And the staircase is such a nice wide staircase in this house. bedroom with plenty of bunks for the kids. Just off of this little landing area and this bedroom is a nice large full bath. As you can see this house is quite private. Um, it's on a wooded lot, so pretty much every window you look out, you will see woods leading beyond to the Green Mountain National Forest. That's what you're seeing in that ridge line. So the, the balance of the upstairs, two good sized bedrooms. With plenty of storage. so big but now this house could be bought primarily furnished uh, there's a few 
few exclusions, but you could pretty much have a, a nice turnkey situation. So, as we go back downstairs, one of the big bonuses of this property is that it has a separate cabin that you could use for additional income for a rental. It's a little one bedroom. And it sits far enough away from the house that, you know, you don't really lose your privacy that much if you did rent it out. So we'll take a walk over there. Oh, and the bear does not come with the house. So sorry. So as we're going over there, this is, um, this is on four acres of land, which is plenty of land to kind of create your own little private compound, which is really what this is. this a lot. It's just not that big a space. Uh, you've already got some good basics. There was a giant wood stove here that belonged to the tenant. So one would need to add that. Although you've got a propane heater that's keeping it warm enough. So here's the one bedroom. And again, you will see out every window is private, wooded. So this way we have a three quarter bath and a laundry hookup. Now, this sits on piers. Uh, there, there is access underneath. Uh, I've been under there before. It has its own septic and its water come shares, I believe it shares the water from the house. Off the back, don't know if you can see this, there is a little lean-to for wood or storage 